And it's definitely been a push for the business, you know, having two undefeated teams. So the high school football frenzy is on across our area, and tomorrow Hubbard takes on Poland to see which team remains unbeaten. And for local businesses, selling spirit gear means a big boost to their bottom line. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti has that story. It doesn't take a genius to realize Fridays in the fall are synonymous with high school football in this neck of the woods. But when you have two undefeated teams meeting each other a month into the season, the excitement is palpable. You want the ticket too? Yeah, I need a ticket. Need a ticket. Need a ticket. Workers at Eagle Wear in Hubbard tell me the game this weekend, pitting the hometown Eagles against the Poland Bulldogs, means more than just a growing rivalry between the two schools. It also helps the store's bottom line through the sales of spirit wear like shirts and hats. Everybody jumps on the bandwagon. It's amazing what, what goes on in the store. A few miles away in Poland, Trolio sportswear sales have also been brisk, both for Bulldog apparel as well as tickets to the game itself. Way above. They, they're definitely right when they say it's going to be a record-breaking crowd. Uh, by Tuesday, I had already sold more tickets by Tuesday than I did all of last week's game. While stores like these sell a wide variety of silk-screened and embroidered items, the local schools are always in demand this time of year. It's always doing something, so it's a lot. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. We meet a lot of people and stuff like that. But football's, football's the biggest. Definitely a, a, a great push for the business. Uh, you know, it's great that they're undefeated, and it's going to be a great game, you know, for both sides. Which is always good when you're trying not to be too partial. I mean, my kids go to Poland, and I went to Hubbard, so I guess I can root for both, but I guess I'm going to have to root for Poland. <laughs> Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.